Hello, I'm Pierre Abis of Union Bank. Diversity is one of our most closely held values. That's why we're proud to honor local heroes in celebration of Latino Heritage Month. Now, let's meet one of our honorees. My name is Rose Amador LeBeau. I am President and CEO of the Center for Training and Career, CTC. Our mission is to help people through employment and education become self-sufficient. We have a day worker center. We have educational programs so people can get their GEDs. We serve a variety of people, people who've just become unemployed, people who have never worked. We work with homeless people. We work with people who have just gotten out of prison and have to re-enter the workforce. So we're full service. Now we have our own facility, and so it enables us to expand programs in response to the needs of the community. I think it's seeing people make the change, become successful, uh, make that transition, and actually having an impact on people's lives, a positive impact. To see these success stories is what it's all about. This moment has been made possible by Union Bank in partnership with KQED. Want to find out what's going on in your community? El Observador is San Jose's bilingual weekly newspaper. Go to your local newsstand and pick up your free copy today. Good evening. Welcome to another edition of Native Voice TV. I'm Sundas Martinez. And I'm Siwa Fili Rose Amador. And together, we are Native Voice TV. We are the indigenous people. Yes, we are. Welcome to the show. Welcome. Uh, welcome. We, yeah, we want to start off showing you a little clip from the uh, Ethnic Media Awards that was uh, held recently in San Jose. It was a statewide Yes. Actually, well, it's a national organization. It's a national organization, which we're going to be nominated uh, this year, <laughs> hopefully. He's, he's preparing. Yeah, I'm preparing. <laughs> but anyhow, what they did was they featured a lot of new uh, emerging media, with whether it was uh, print media or television, radio. Um, and we were honored to be featured in their little clip, so we're going to show you just a little piece of that clip right yeah. now. 另外我知道还有人叫你周教授 The heart and soul of the new America These are the newest faces and voices of ethnic communities nationwide We give people a voice and we let people be heard and seen and it hasn't been done in the past We're making content that is more relevant to the Filipino communities residing here in the U.S. Inform to the community what problems to affect to them, what help they need. One of the reasons why we decided to do something like this is because there was no outlet for our people. We had radio, um, but there was no mainstream media. For the community in general, it, it serves as an educational tool. There's a lot of similarities between the tribes, but there are a lot of differences. Even as Native people, we're educating each other. We, we are still here. I think that's the bottom yeah, line, that we, we are, are here. here. We're not invisible, you know, we are here. And we just haven't had that exposure. We are your community. We are the new America. Well, we hope you enjoyed that. Yeah, actually, the clip great. was a little bit longer, but... Uh, yeah, actually, we it should have been longer. But <laughs> <laughs> Our piece should have been longer, yeah. right? But yeah, well, definitely, nice. definitely we are still here and we have a, a guest who is still here too. Yes, yeah, so we have <laughs> a guest who's going to be telling us about a big change this year with the Red Road mm -hmm. Pow Wow. And I'd like to welcome 
Tito Gomez. Well, thank you very much. Thank you for having me. And you're on the Red Road Powwow Committee now. For yes, years and years, the powwow has been at Casa de Fruta. Yes. yes. And it's been changed this year. Tell us about it. Where is it going to be? Well, for uh, 20 years, we were at Casa de Fruta. We are happy to call the, that place uh, the powwow's home. But um, with the new committee, we wanted to become a bigger powwow. We wanted to bring more people there. And, and the lack of space that Casa de Fruta was going to give us and the amount of people we wanted to bring here, we want to bring bigger drums, make it bigger each year, it would become like a fire hazard. And, you know, it would, it would, it would become too complex to, uh, to size the power that, that we envisioned. So we moved it to DQ University. They've been uh, more than welcome to have us there. We're glad to be there. We have a lot more space for camping, a lot more space for parking, and it's going to be a bigger power. And it's nice that it's at a native university. Yes. Why don't you tell us where it's at? It's um, just right off the side, uh, off of a Highway 31, and it's in the. Um, it's right, in, right, right beside the DQ University, just right. And we're teaming up with the university and then, and the native students there, and and hopefully you know a lot of people come May uh, 26th, 27th, and 28th. You said there's going to be camping there too, right? Yes, okay. of course. That's the main. Thing. Of course, yeah. <laughs> you know we can't forget about that because yeah. you know this. Powell has been known to have good campgrounds, and we're going to make, this, make sure that it's exactly the same as, as last year. You're not going to have a little skinny bridge? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, no more, no more of the little creek bridge and, you know, making sure only one car goes by. Yeah. There's a lot of space. We're going over the grounds, making sure it's nice and soft. You're not sleeping on any hard rocks unless we're going to save the hard rocks for you. Okay, great. So there <laughs> one go. right there. Of course. <laughs> as a pillow, huh? Now, that's near Davis, or yes. in Davis, mm -hmm. right? Right. And um, now I understand this is going to be a permanent place for this particular powwow. Yeah. Which means that once you get the arbor set up and the campgrounds mm -hmm. and year after year, it'll be improving as far mm -hmm. as the grounds. Yeah, like I said, this is, this is our new home. This is where mm -hmm. we're, we're going to be based at from now on. Mm -hmm. um, as soon as we put the arbor up, it's going to stay up year round. And uh, it, this is, like I said, this is our new home. It's, it's going to stay there from, you know, until until we find a bigger spot, until we get, <laughs> until we outgrown this spot. Do you need uh, volunteers? Oh, we can always use volunteers. We can use volunteers for uh, parking, you know, uh, for uh, first aid, you know, selling t-shirts or mm -hmm. selling raffle tickets throughout the, throughout the whole weekend. Um, you know, all the volunteers are more than welcome. We can find a job for you somewhere, somehow. We'll get Sue up to do security. There you yeah. go. <laughs> get the Tackle the big guys. Yeah, right. <laughs> Actually, I think Lakota we sold, boys. <laughs> we sold um, T-shirts last we year. We sold T-shirts yeah. and, and we yeah. Thank so, you for yeah. helping that. And like I said, this this year we're going to have a lot more shirts. We have a new graphic. Everything's looking good. Good. I think we're going to do that again this year. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Now tell us about some of the groups that are going to be there. Well, we just locked down um, for our Southern Drum. We have uh, Youngbird, which is based out of Oklahoma, mm -hmm. and they've been traveling throughout the United States, so, you know, singing their songs across. And, and to Canada, they're, they're well, well known. They're becoming fast. They're becoming one of the most respected groups. They've been in the Bay Area. They're a host at uh, De Anza as well as Stanford. And we're really happy to have them to come and sing in our powwow. Oh, that's great. Yeah, and they come from Oklahoma. For our northern drum is uh, Southern Cree, mm -hmm. which is from my home, Rocky Boy. And uh, they started in about mid-90s under uh, direction of Kenneth Gopher Sr. And they've been known all over the, all over. Mm -hmm. They they went to Germany. They went to, this about everywhere singing Cree songs. Mm -hmm. They've been host drum in Arizona, and uh, and Sarcy in Alberta, Canada. Wow. So we're really happy to have them there. And so we two have two well-known groups. Yeah, huh? yeah. So it's, it's going to be a big yeah. power. It's going to be a good power. Both drums know how to sing, at what songs, at what time, and how to make the dancers dance. Mm -hmm. And that's what we like. I used to sing with them. Yes, I used to sing with Southern Cree. I used to sing with them. I sang with them and for uh, for our celebration, Rocky Boy. Uh -huh. um, I've also sang with uh, Red Bull in Canada. Most of those guys are my uncles and cousins. Ah. So, mm. so they, it's they, all they the family. oh, you know it, you know <laughs> it. So if I if I'm not singing, you know, they kind of get on my back. But so you know, I'm I'm happy to have all my cousins to come down here and 
and represent for Rocky Boy. Oh, that's, that's great. Good. That's great. really mm -hmm. good that there'll be people from across the yeah. nation. And we also have Tom Phillips, who's a local MC, mm -hmm. who is well known throughout the Indian country as being one of the top MCs. So we're happy to have him come back and, and uh, MC our, our yeah, event. He's a good MC. Yes, he's, he he's funny. Yeah. Yes, he's a good guy. <laughs> your like, committee's yeah. been meeting for some time now planning this. Oh, yeah. Well, you're yeah. around practically because yeah. you worked on it last year as yes. well. Yes, we, you know, we see each other at powwows and we kind of mm -hmm. say, okay, where are we at? What's going mm -hmm. on? So each powwow has become like a little kind of kind of a meeting for us uh -huh. to get together. And, you know, we're, right now we're passing out the flyers and selling out the raffle tickets. Yeah, this oh, last good. powwow was really, um, it, it was like a night and day from when you guys cha uh, took over. Oh, yeah. And to how it was before, it was just yeah. so much nicer. Yeah. I mean. Well, you know, the Santa Cruz Indian Council had it for all these years, yeah. and so we kind of, kind of took it back from from them. And it's you know, it's a lot of uh, a lot of people that used to dance mm -hmm. are in it. You know, Lucha Diaz, who's well known for out of Canada and United States for being uh, the the best uh, fancy shell dancer, wow. and she's she's you know one of she's the vice president. We have Charlene Harrison. From the Harrison family in the Bay Area, strong roots. Smoke Johnson, who puts on the Livermore powwow. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that powwow is always a good one. We're glad to have her mm -hmm. on, as well as me. You know, I travel the United States, one of the grass dancers, you know, one of the first few yeah, grass dancers tell on the us Bay about Area. That. Yeah, you know, it was at the time there's only three kind of grass dancers, you know, out here. Mm -hmm. It was Paul Pacheco, myself, and uh, Leon McGurk. And mm -hmm. it slowly started getting more popular with. Uh, as the dancers started to see the type of dance they were used to, you know, men's fancy and mm -hmm. men's traditional. So we were kind of like a new category, you know, breaking the ground here. So, uh, you know, we're, so, you know, that's, that's a dance that uh, my uncles taught me, you know, Jonathan Windy Boy and Alvin Windy Boy. And each year they come down, make sure I'm still doing it, so. <laughs> now you're from Montana? Yes, ma'am, I'm from Rocky Boy, Montana. Yeah. Uh -huh. And Papago, which is from Sells, Arizona. That's just my father's side. Oh, okay. Yeah. Tahano Olam. That's what I'm half of Tahano Olam. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. So give us some more about your background. Now you you were raised all all your life in uh, Montana. Did you ever live in Arizona? Uh, no, no. Actually, I spent I spent maybe about ten years in Montana, and then mm -hmm. I came down here in California. Um, Mom moved down here, and so we kind of traveled. Still traveled in the summer. You know, went mm -hmm. up to Crow and Fort Hall and. Fort Belknap with that, those powwows during the summertime. Now my mom moved back to the reservation, so I'm kind of left out here in the city. <laughs> so, but uh, like an orphan now. Huh? There you go. <laughs> there you go. But uh, now me and my wife and I have two two children, and sorry, getting them back into the. Are they dancing? Arena. Not yet. I'm making their pow their powwow outfits as we speak. So we're okay. slowly pushing them out there. Good. Mm -hmm. Some gra so grass dancers. Huh? Oh well, well, of course. That's the only <laughs> way to go. That's the only way to go. <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah. So, what other things can we look forward to at the powwow itself? Yeah, what's going to be new? What's going to be different from from what we've seen in the past twenty years to now? What's going to be a, an addition or something that's going to make it even better? Mm -hmm. Well, one of the first questions we asked ourselves on our very first meeting was, "Okay, we had a good powwow last year. How can we make it bigger? How can mm -hmm. we make it better?" And uh, you know, we we thought, "Well, we got to bring in bigger names." You know, we mm -hmm. want to make sure that people know that California is a place where we can mm -hmm. power, where, you know, we bring some of the people from Montana into California. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you're going to definitely see a larger crowd. You're going to see a lot more better dancers, a lot more better drums than last year. And uh, it's just going to be a good time. It's going to be a good time all oh, the way around. Good. Now, are the Apache dancers coming from Arizona again? I thought I heard that from someone along yeah, well, the way. Well, we, we are working on that. We are trying to lock them down. And uh, the last time that I got an update from them was that they were planning on coming back. They did have a good time last year, and they would like they to come beautiful. back. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so we, we want to try to bring, you know, double the dancers, double the singers. Uh -huh. yeah. I believe last year they had about three or four dancers, so we want to try mm -hmm. to get more and bring them back because there were, you know, a lot of people enjoyed them. So, yeah. and we enjoyed having them back. I believe that was one of the, the things that made your powwow so unique is yeah. because a lot of the Southwest Indians don't, mm -hmm. do not dance at powwows. No. And to have that come over, and especially the Apache dancers yeah. come out and do a, a dance was just beautiful because yeah. we never see it. Oh yeah. I mean, you, you actually have to be on the land over there to mm -hmm. see some of the, the traditional dances. Well, and Little John Polito, he's a, another member of our committee. Mm -hmm. He's Apache, and he's one that more or less spearheaded 
them coming back, coming to uh, yeah. to our power. They had, they had wanted to come previous years, and uh, for us for some reason never worked out. So we were happy to have them last year, and yeah. we're trying to bring them right back th this year. Oh, that's great. great. Mm -hmm. Now, when does it start? Which day? It's three days. Three days, May 26, 27th, and 28th starts okay. on Friday. At uh, at eight o'clock, I believe. I believe Granite Tree is going to be at eight. That time's still kind of, we're still kind of nailing down. But it, power starts then. Point system and everything, contests, everything oh, okay. that night, and it goes on to Saturday and then uh, Sunday. Sunday will be the final day. What time does Sunday? Uh, Sunday is going to be at noon. Noon. Okay. Yeah. Nice long weekend. You know it. Yeah. <laughs> Just that camp be out. Fun. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. And then Monday is the travel day, so we don't want to try uh -huh. to you know hold people back on yeah. on that Monday. We want to try to get them home, enjoy their enjoy their, uh, their holiday off. Yeah, oh, take a holiday from the powwow. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> and there'll course. be a lot of vendors and food yes. galore out yes, there. Yes, yes, we of have, good shopping. we have about half of the vendors locked down to mm -hmm. come back. Mm -hmm. We're always looking for more vendors and more food vendors to come back. Okay. Yeah. And I know we'll have the number on the screen later so people mm -hmm. will know how to contact. Yes, you can contact Charlene Charlie Harrison for the yeah, and we'll have the number and everything. Mm -hmm. So you need volunteers, yeah. you need uh, donations. You need donations, we're selling raffle tickets. First prize is going to be uh, a Pendleton blanket. Mm -hmm. Second prize, $200. Third prize will be a, a TV and DVD combo. Wow. So, and we're getting a lot more, uh, a lot more raffle prices. and. So we'll have it. We'll have it all spread out. We have uh, beadwork coming in and more electronics, and so. So if anyone wants to donate a, a raffle prize to an addition to what you have right now, they mm -hmm. can contact you. And they can contact me. My name. My number is eight three one two three five seven nine five one. They could contact me. I'm, I'm kind of putting together all the raffle tickets and stuff. Or they right. could contact any, uh, any person on the Powell Trail that's. That's a Red Road committee member. So and you can, can see us handing out flyers. Yeah, and they can contact the, us yeah. too. So for contact all you car guys. dealers out there, if you want to donate a car That's or whatever. Right. Car, or a house, a yeah. house. Boat. Give us a, give us a, a native car. Anything. Native car. <laughs> yeah. Sing 49's on. There you go. Well, hey, you never it, know. Leon Chief Elk is your advisor? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He's been with the Powell since, since the very first one, actually. Very first one. Him and, uh, him and uh, Richard Small from Rocky Boy, who... Mm -hmm. uh, they brought in the very first uh, eagle stuff on the very first grand entry of Casa de Fruta. Wow. So he's been through the, with the powwow from the get-go. And, you know, from the at first powwow, it was all my aunts and uncles mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. kind of put it all together with the Santa Cruz Indian Council all the time. And so I'm kind of still happy to be along with it and oh, that's good. keep it going. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and the Center for Training and Careers is your umbrella organization. Yes, they, they kind of house our meetings, and we're happy to be there. Right. Who's that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just had to get a plug yeah, in exactly. there. <laughs> of course. But we do want to encourage everyone to come out and support yes. the powwow because, you know, we change locations now. And we mm -hmm. and Especially it's being put on by Native people. It's mm -hmm. at a Native university. Native university. Yeah, and, I mean, you know, you know, like, the whole package and you know, is the, there. Yeah. We, we travel in the summer, all of us. You know, mm -hmm. Lucha, myself, Little John, and, and Smoke Johnson, and Crystal Vigil is another person who's on our committee who has strong ties to the Bay Area. We all travel the power circuits in the summertime. So, you know, we kind of know what we want because we see it at other powers, mm -hmm. like at mm -hmm. gatherings at Fort Hall and Skimitsit. So we kind of want to bring that, mm -hmm. you know, to California so we don't have to travel that far, mm -hmm. you know, so we can enjoy that as well. Good, yeah, there's always room for improvement. Of course, yeah. of course. Yeah. And every year it's just going to get bigger and better. Oh yeah, It's definitely. going to keep the game bigger and better. We'll help you with that. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Well, maybe we can go into our announcements. I know we have okay. some announcements. We're probably catching them off guard, and then, and then we'll wrap up the show with uh, some final comments. Okay. I know there's some things coming up, and of course Native we have TANF the program. Native TANF program is yeah. up and running, and they tell us to go apply if you are, are need uh, in need of services for your family, and um, you can apply there at uh, 490 North First Street. Numbers on the screen, and this is very important. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if you're a woman and you're looking at getting into a non-traditional trade, we have a program called the WEMA program which is Women Empowered to Move Ahead, and that's offered by the Center for Training and Careers, which is located at 1600 Las Plumas Avenue. There's orientation every Monday at 10 a.m., so please come on by. 
a lot of good paying jobs for women. So please come by and uh, get into the apprenticeship trades. A lot of good opportunities. And tune in to Indian Time Radio, KKUP 91.5 FM, every Tuesday, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Uh, with Jack Hyatt as a host and David Romero. <laughs> Remember Leonard Peltier, 30 years of false imprisonment. Have you thought about Leonard Peltier today? And um, don't forget about yeah, Leonard. it's very injustice. And we're here with Tito Gomez, and he's on the Red Road Powwow Committee. Mm -hmm. And let's talk a little bit about the talking circles, the AA mm -hmm. meetings, the NA meetings. Tell us about those and how often they'll be occurring and what they're all about. Well, we'll probably be having about three meetings per day. And uh, anyone and everyone's welcome. We have them all within the camping area. And, uh, you know, we want to su support each other because it's, it's a long, hard road, you know, trying to stay sober. And uh, we also want to celebrate, you know, we'll have a uh, uh, honoring dance on Sunday. It's called Sobriety Roll Call. And what we did last year, and it seemed to work, and we, we want to try to do it again, is we'll have a sign-up sheet throughout the whole entire weekend. And for that memorial song, we'll read out the names of, of people celebrating the sobriety, mm -hmm. as well as the, having a memorial dance for them. Oh, yeah. that's great. I really yes. enjoyed... Um, Watching everyone get lined up and and going through and, and talking about their sobriety. That's really of course, enjoyable. you know, it's, it's yeah. one of the things that uh, You know sadly we, we still kind of uh, battle yeah. You know off the res and on the res so you know we kind of want to bring a focus to it and and uh, you know yeah. and definitely celebrate the people that have been you know, that went down that road and yeah and came out in a better light for it. I believe it's, it's really empowering, especially for people who are struggling to the, trying to get through some, you know, getting through this alcoholism, and to see that, they, that people can do it, and mm -hmm. they have done it for, you know, decades. Right. I mean, yeah. they have people up there, I've been sober for like 30 years, and yeah. they have people who've been say, saying that, and it's yeah. just really empowering. And it shows that, that it can be done. Yeah, You know, exactly. it can be done, it's just not, you know, it's not something to laugh at, and something we kind of really take seriously in the, yeah, in the community, so. That's true, yeah. and you know, I think people really look forward to just going there and waiting for that roll call of so course. they can walk out there. Yeah. And you know, it's another year, and yeah. they can go out there and be proud of that. And then also the veteran roll call. Oh yeah, you well, know, it's, the, the power is held on a Memorial mm -hmm. Day weekend, and so, um, you know, that a lot of them put sacrifices in World War One to and Vietnam, Korea, and, and Desert yeah. Storm, and the new uh, war in Iraq. So we want to definitely recognize those those veterans and and uh, mm -hmm. bring their proper due and and put them on the uh, on in the arena for a short time mm -hmm. and let them uh, have their respect. Yeah, yeah that's wonderful. That's, that's important. Exactly. Yeah. Now you also have uh, a walk or a run or something. Yeah, like yeah, we're that? you know we also have other activities. We have mm -hmm. a basketball and a volleyball kind of tournaments. And uh, you know, throughout the entire weekend, you can find it all within the campsite. So, uh, you know, we have a walk. I believe it's going to be all around the whole arena and, and runs and stuff. And it's tied in with, with the sobriety roll call mm -hmm. and, and kind of, you know, just keep it more of an active, uh, you know, so there's not just the powwows. You could look at the vendors. You can also participate in the volleyball mm -hmm. or, or, uh, or basketball tournaments that we have. You know what would be nice to see too is like maybe a, even a beauty contest or something like that. Oh, like it Miss, get, Miss, get, Miss get, Red Road Pow Wow or something. Yeah, you know, Miss Fry Bread come and show no, me. No, not Miss Fry Bread, Miss Red Road. Miss <laughs> 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 Red Road. <laughs> well, that's great. I think there's, you know, things to do all weekend. Oh, yeah. So it's, you know, it, it's not like just, oh, well, yeah. the Pow Wow just have to wait for that. There's things to do from Friday through Sunday. All the way through, all the way through. Yeah. And yeah, it's May 26th, 27th, and 28th. Okay, so we come Friday night, or probably afternoon, right? Come mm -hmm. Friday afternoon, set up yep. camp, get ready. Vendors will be there. We'll have food vendors ready to rock on Friday afternoon. All right. All right. Yeah. So we we'll don't have to bring any food. food. Just, just bring money. Oh, just bring your <laughs> <laughs> a lot of money. There you go. There you go. I always have like a good the time. shopping and all the jewelry mm -hmm. and all the things. I always say, okay, I'm not going to buy anything. No, but, but you leave a truckload. Yeah. Oh, you know, <laughs> it's... It's a good opportunity to buy some indigenous art or indigenous necklaces or jewelry or anything like that and get ready for Christmas, you know, because you never know. You know. never know. <laughs> you never know when you, next time you can go to a powwow or yeah. when you can see that one particular item. Well, I get that another powwow and 
you it's never gone. it's gone you never find it that's right. Yeah, so well, I used to get all these things and figure, oh, this would be nice for sale. So then I get them home and go, oh, gee, maybe I'll keep no, this. I'll keep it myself. <laughs> it looks good on this show. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, most definitely. So no, we're going to have, you know, we're, we're aiming to try to get, you know, at least at least a little bit more vendors because we have a lot more space. We have a lot more space for vendors and for food vendors. So, and oh, you know, great. the palace is, is just going to be a good pal this year. Mm -hmm. We want to encourage everyone to come out. The vendors, please sign up, be there out there. It'd be a great place to be on the weekend, and yeah. there'll be a lot of people coming. We'll be out there, there selling shirts. So. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Say hi to us. Tickets, giving out autographs. <laughs> That's right. <Yeah. laughs> well, we want to thank you for coming on thank the show. Thank you for having We're me. Thank you very much. To the yeah. Thank you very We're much. We're going to have to bring you back to do some hand drumming and singing. Of course. And we'll of course. get you all dressed up in your regalia. You can there do you dance go. Rides, yeah. There you yeah, go. So. Stay tuned. He'll be back. Yeah. So thank you again. And we, we want to thank it. all of our sponsors of Native yes, Voice TV. Definitely. Yes. Especially the Washoe Tribe of California, Nevada, Native mm -hmm. Tanner Program. And Mark Rickard of Light Lane. Yes. El Observador. Read your weekly bilingual newspaper. Keep up on the news. There was a lot of, uh, there was an article last week on the, um, Mexica naming ceremony. Yes. So please uh, keep up with El Observador. Center for Training and Careers is a sponsor of Native Voice TV. Mm -hmm. And you can be a sponsor too. Yeah, so, we'll say your name on TV. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so contact us at Native Voice TV at AOL.com or call us at 408 251 3165. We'll see you next Sunday at 6 o'clock. Yep. Good night. Good night. Looking for the training and skills you need to get a new career? Call Center for Training and Careers today. That's CTC at 408-213-0961 and start building your new career today.